Okay, this is part three of our how to make a Ruby GUI in five minutes. And uh, first of all, we created this Ruby GUI, and then we added an Xbox controller so we can move our graphic around. And in part three, we're going to add some sound. So if we go into this module, we need to first of all add a sound card, and I'm going to use the direct sound card and select the primary sound driver. I'm also then going to get a uh, wave player, sound player, and, and I'm going to get a volume knob which is called uh, uh, stereo amp in this case. And I'm just going to wire these up to our sound card. Okay, and then I'm going to use one of the switches on the uh, Xbox controller. Uh, through a ball input to trigger our sound. So we just need to convert that ball into a trigger uh, on the rising edge, like this. Okay, and now let's load a sound sample laser. Okay, and now I press this button. So now we've got pretty much the basis um, for a game. If we go to our top level we can uh, move around our sort of volume knob and we don't really want to see that on the top level, the sound player, so I can just go and click on this little eye symbol and get rid of that so that looks a little cleaner. Lock that back up. So now I can move my sprite around, I can press button A, flash his eyes and I can press the button to make the sound. Okay, thank you.